Hey everybody, good to see you again. Uh, I thought I'd talk about data center updates, what to expect for the next few weeks in Google, stuff like that this time. But before I do, I didn't get to talk about uh, fun swag from the Search Engine Strategies Conference. One of my favorites, check it out. It's a white hat. Oh, but it's got SEO and hidden text. Don't say SEOs don't have a sense of humor, huh? Um, I thought this one was kind of fun. Picture of Jake Bailey. He fake autographed them all, and you can see right here, I got a real autograph. In fact, I got several of them. Oh yeah, what can I do with lots of pictures of Jake Bailey? Uh, maybe I can sell them and do some arbitrage or something like that. Anyway, um, also, there was at least one British SEO who evidently wants to keep me from doing anything productive for a long, long time. Check that out. That's 3,500 plus pages of science fiction. Huh? Yeah. The funny thing is, in Britain, uh, these three books are published as three books. In the United States, they take these three books and they publish them as nine books. What does that say about British readers versus American readers? Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'll probably donate this to the web spam team, whoever needs some hard SEO, uh, hard sci-fi, I should say. Okay, data center updates. So, um... There's always updates going on, you know, practically daily, if not daily. Uh, a small portion of our index is updated every, not a small portion, but a pretty large fraction of our in index is updated every day as we crawl the web. Uh, we also have algorithms and data pushes that are going out on a less frequent basis. So, for example, there was a data push on June 27th, July 27th, and then August 17th. And again, that's an algorithm that's been running for over 1.5 years. Uh, if you seem to be caught in that, you're more likely to be reading on an SEO board. Uh, so you might want to think about ways that you could back your site off. Uh, think less about what the SEOs on the board are saying and how you can sort of not be optimizing quite, quite as much on your site. Um, that's about as much as advice as I can give, I'm afraid. Uh, Big Daddy was a software infrastructure upgrade, and that upgrade finished around in February. And so it was pretty much a, a, a refresh to how we crawled the web and how we partly indexed the web. Um, and that's been done for several months and things have been working quite smoothly. Uh, there was also a complete uh, refresh or update of our uh, supplemental results index infrastructure. Uh, that happened a couple months after Big Daddy, so it was, it's been done for a month or two. Um, and it was a complete rewrite, so the indexing infrastructure is different than our main indexing infrastructure. So you expect to see a few more issues whenever you roll that out. We saw, um, you know, more small off-the-beaten-path stuff, like uh, minus or exclusion terms, where you use a minus sign, uh, the noindex meta tag, stuff like that. And the way that the supplemental results worked with the main web index, uh, you'd often see site result estimates that were too high. Um, there was at least one incident where there was a spammer that some people thought had 5 billion pages and whenever I looked into it the total number of pages that their biggest domain had was under 50,000 pages so they'd been adding up all these site uh, colon estimates and ending up with a really big number that was just way way off so uh, one nice thing is we have another software infrastructure update uh, which improves quality as the main aspect but it also improves our site colon result estimates as well. It's just sort of like a side benefit. Um, I know that that is out at all data centers in the sense that it can run in some experimental modes, but it's not fully on at every data center. And they were shooting for the end of the summer to have that live everywhere. But again, that's a hope, not a promise. So if, if things need more testing, they'll work for longer to make sure everything goes smoothly. And if everything goes great, then they might roll it out faster. Uh, but um, that is some really nice infrastructure. It's just a side benefit that site result estimates get more accurate. Um, it's kind of interesting. Let me talk about that for a minute. Because I saw at least one guy who had said, you know, what happened with site colon result estimates on Google? And he was comparing two completely different data center IP addresses. And, and they were different. And he was worried about that. And yet he had exactly one page in Yahoo. He had no pages in Ask. If you looked at his link page, there was like a ton of links to pharmacy sites, and not just one pharmacy site, but like a lot of pharmacy sites. And so I would say your time, your focus, is better spent 
looking at your server logs, uh, asking how to improve the quality of your own site, and not worrying about something like the site colon uh, results estimates. Uh, so let me drill down some reasons why that's true. Number one, they're estimates. We, we don't claim that they're exact. In fact, if you look at them, they're only exact to three significant digits. And we do that to give people an idea of how many results there are for a given site colon query, but uh, we don't claim that that's 100% precise. Um, and truthfully, I didn't consider it a very high priority. Uh, there was recently a change that was pushed out that made site, not site, but just plain old results estimates uh, much more accurate for Unigram or single word queries. And I spent about a half hour talking to the guy that did the change. And he even asked me, well, do you think it's worth working on uh, making the results estimates for site colon more accurate? And this was like five, six months ago, maybe even more. And at that time I said, no, pretty much nobody pays attention to those. You know, they look at their server logs. It's not really a high priority. And it's gotten to be where more people are asking about it these days, so I'm sure we'll pay more attention to it. But um, <clears throat> in general, I would spend more time worrying about good content on your site, looking at your server logs to find out niches where you can make new pages and make things that are more relevant. Um, and, and you know, the whole notion of watching data centers is going to get harder and harder for individuals going forward because, number one, we have so much stuff launching in various ways. Uh, I've seen weekly launch meetings where there are a double digit number of things and these are things that are under the hood, so strictly quality, they're not changing the UI or anything like that and so if you're not doing a specific search in Russian or Chinese you might not notice the difference. Um, but it goes to show that we're always going to be rolling out different things and at different data centers you might have slightly different data. The other reason why it's not as much wor worth watching data centers is because there's an entire set of IP addresses, and if you're a super duper gung ho SEO, you'll know, you know, oh, 72.2.14. whatever. But that IP address will typically go to one data center, but that's not a guarantee. If that one data center comes out of rotation, uh, we're going to, you know, do something else to it, we're going to actually change the hardware infrastructure, and everything I've been talking about so far is software infrastructure. Um, so if you take that data center out of rotation for some reason, that IP address can point to a completely different data center. So the currency, the ability to really compare changes and talk to a fellow data center watcher and say, what do you see at 72.2.14. whatever, um, is really pretty limited. So I would definitely encourage you to spend more time worrying about you know, the results you rank for, increasing the quality of your content, uh, looking for high quality people that you think should be linking to you and aren't linking to you and letting them know about that, stuff like that. Um, but I just wanted to give people <coughs> a little bit of an update of where we were on various infrastructure. And the fact of the matter is we're always going to be working on improving our infrastructure. So you can never guarantee a ranking or a number one for any given term, you know, because if we find out that we think we can improve quality by changing our algorithms or our data or our infrastructure or anything else, we are going to make that change. So um, the best SEOs, in my experience, are the ones that can adapt and that say, okay, well this is the way the algorithms look right now to me. If I want to make a good site that will do well in search engines, this is the direction I want to head in next. And if you work on those sort of skills, then you don't have to worry as much about being up at 3 a.m. and talking on a forum about what does this data center look like to you and did it change a whole lot and stuff like that. So that's the approach that I'd recommend.